Hey guys, what's going on? It's Emily from Living Plantfully. Today is a very special episode of The Vegan Recon. It's episode number 10 and I am in a different kitchen. Obviously, as you can tell, this is my mother's kitchen and we have a very special guest. This is my grandmother. Hello. My grandmother is here visiting us from Puerto Rico at the moment, so I thought well, what better time again we're gonna have a special guest. She's from Puerto Rico, she lives in Puerto Rico, so this is like traditional. So today we are going to be making guineo en cabeche, which basically translates to a kind of like sauteed green banana. So that's what we're gonna be making today. This is her recipe, we're doing it totally her way, her style everything is done her way. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's go ahead and get right into the recipe. For starters, we have here a green banana, and this is not to be confused with a plantain. This is not the same thing as a plantain. A uh, plantain is kind of like thicker and bigger. This is an actual banana that is just basically unripened, and you should be able to find this in your local like international supermarkets um, if you can't find it maybe just like ask tell them you want green bananas and they should be able to help you out so she's gonna go ahead and cut this up and she's wearing gloves basically so that way she doesn't like stain her hands because it does have kind of like this little film on the green bananas in spanish it's called the mancha we have already in the back cooking up some of the green banana and she basically just filled up a pot with some water added some salt to that as well as some soy milk which is going to help aid in the cooking process as well as removing some of the mancha from the green banana so she just basically cut them in half and we have them boiling in the back in that water Okay, so while the green banana is in our water boiling and cooking up, we're gonna make the escabeche part, which is basically the flavoring of this whole entire dish. Right here, we have all of our ingredients already prepped. We have some white onion that has been sliced. She sliced some onions up. Then we have some minced garlic as well right here, some extra virgin olive oil, and some apple cider vinegar, some sliced Spanish olives, and then we have salt and pepper. So now I'm gonna bring you to the stove where she's basically gonna put everything together. So she's adding in some extra virgin olive oil first. We just have a little shallow pan. Apple cider vinegar, onions. She added also the Spanish olives into there. The garlic. Pimienta. Okay, so she added some pepper and some salt. So she's just mixing that up. So she went ahead and added in three bay leaves as well to that. Okay. So we're gonna let this cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. Again, while our green bananas are cooking up in the water. So now she's just removing the peel from the green bananas. Once they are cooked, you just use two forks to basically peel away the skin or the peel of the green banana. Then once all of the peels are removed, you wanna drain the water from the green bananas. And now she's just cutting them into basically like little cylinder shapes. And this is again after it has been cooked and peeled. We have here all of the green bananas nice and cut up. Again, like I said, she just cut them into little cylinder shapes just like this. And we're going to add this now into our escabeche mix, which is the onions and olives and all of that good stuff. All right, so now she's just mixing everything up together. So all of our little onion mixture with the green bananas. Just making sure that everything is nice and covered in the yummy flavors. Now that everything is nice and mixed up, we're just gonna transfer it into our serving dish right here. Okay. 
here we have our finished dish, the guineo en escabeche. It looks so good, it smells amazing in here. I haven't had this in such a long time, so I'm so excited that she made this for us today. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a taste because I cannot wait. Que rico, muchas gracias mamá. Mm. That is so good guys. It's such a like unique dish. It has like such amazing flavors. You guys should definitely make this dish if you have never tasted Puerto Rican food. This is definitely one of those dishes that is like super good to taste. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this 10th episode of The Vegan Rican. If you liked it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment sections if you liked seeing visitors like my grandma here. If you have not subscribed already to Living Plantfully, go ahead and do so. And yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys next week as always. Bye. <laughs>